<laughs> Devin, where are we going? We're pulling up to a race event right now. Do a little bit of Mexico street racing. I got to flex right quick. I'm going to get out, put pump gas in my car, and then go gather everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. We are out here about to go do some racing in the GT350. Nobody knows exactly what's done to it, so let's keep it quiet. But we got a few nice cars out here. We've got a super cool looking Hellcat. Got a Camaro, got a GTR, got a ZR1. And I know this car down here on the end is very, very fast. And uh, if you can't tell by the fender exit exhaust down there by the bumper, it's uh, it's a pretty big turbo car. So 881 and 1014 at the wheel. Oh, look, it's Po' Boys. I've never even gotten to see one of these in person, honestly. These cars are beautiful. Hey, look, you got you a sucker in your intake. You leave it there? Yeah. <laughs> are you no, serious? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, what the hell? I'm excited to see how it runs. I've never gotten to see one of these run in person yet on the street. Ooh. This is my only manual friend here today. Thank Lord, at least there's one. <laughs> then we got the Hellcat. I wanna say that this was a full bolt-on and tuned Hellcat, but I'm not exactly positive. I need to ask and see. Then we got Caleb in here in the Shelby working remotely for Six Media right now, editing videos. <laughs> Literally in the park, a lot of the meat. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've got a few really cool cars. We're gonna go out and do some races today. I have not gotten to do any street stuff in a really long time, so it's gonna be interesting. There's a lot of cars out here that are making a lot of power. I have not even gotten to race the Shelby once yet. Not even race it on the street. Well, actually, no, I lie. On the way to Dallas, we did race that uh, race. full bolt on nitrous 10 speed Mustang. That was in my video. Yeah, put like a length on it, but that was it. That was all that we got to do. So today we're gonna find out what the Shelby can do. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Oh, look who it is. The man himself, only 35 minutes late. Damn, son, you got a twin turbo Lamborghini. Couldn't even make it on time to your own meet. I thought you'd be here faster than that. Your football? What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> I was waiting on it. I was waiting on the legendary. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Hogan ride with me today, y'all. So, I was so excited. Hope you don't weigh me down. <laughs> hey, I got three people in my car, man. Ooh. It's gonna be me, Caleb, and her. Oh, okay, bone stock Hellcat. Never mind. It's an auto car. Sir. Auto car, or manual. Man, what? It's a manual. Yes, dude. Thank you so much. That is great. <laughs> It ain't no punk. Look at this thing, dude. It looks like a stock work truck. Oh, okay. We got the Roush blower on there. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We're packing up right now, and then we're going to get on the road. Let's go. This truck pissing me off. <laughs> I'm coming for you next. <laughs> I want that ass. That was me running the yeah. truck. Dude, that truck is rolling, huh? That boy got some, uh, got some Wrangler. <laughs> he got the Wrangler. He got the, the good years. He's got the good years on there. So, oh yeah, I know. The yeah, I ran the GTR. Put like they put like three links on me. What? But then I ran the ZR1. Beat the ZR1 the first time and was like neck and neck the second time. 
I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how it is with the car. On, it's on six pounds right now on wastegate, and then I'm gonna put the boost controller on, turn it up to like nine or ten, and then we'll come back and see how it does. You're gonna, you're gonna kill me. I'm just curious of how bad you're gonna beat me. God, I love GTR so much. I need one. Can I have one? Actually, I think I'm getting one. Oh, okay. We're gonna grab some drink from Sonic real quick. We got an hour drive back, and we're gonna get a lot of runs in there because it's a straight path, and hopefully the clutch will hold up just a little bit longer. That's all we need, a little bit longer. All right, Poe. Oh, Poe's getting in with the Lambo. Yeah, I'm getting. Good the luck. Lambo. Hey, you good luck as well. Good luck to your clutch. Thanks. Gonna it's going it's going to be trying. <laughs> I just tell him my prosthetic got stuck on the gas. He's got a he's got a prosthetic leg. Go ahead, big dog. A manual Hellcat, dude. Oh my god, I need it. We're hanging back in the Lambo. Uh we're going to try and get some runs in on the way back. That car is <laughs> extremely fast. It's going to probably put quite a few links on me, but that's okay. <laughs>
ask you a request of you real quick? Yes, I sir. I need you to kind of get off the road a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want you to get hit. Yeah, that's fine. Like that. Is that okay if I unbuckle? Reason. Yeah, unbuckle. If you could, just go ahead and pull in front of the uh, the vet there. Yeah, that's that fine. That way you don't have to back up or nothing. I'll watch traffic for you. Thank you so much. Driver's license, identifications, registrations, insurances. Go ahead and kill your vehicle. Gotcha. All right, so we received a complaint, the sheriff's office, of a bunch of cars drag racing and kind of whatever of course they blatantly gave the description of the vehicles that we have here when this normally happens we pull people over hey y'all drive safe it's, i mean it's sunday dude give you make sure everything's cool you got insurance driver's license registration all that it's no big deal usually you end up out of here without a ticket you just get a warning but when somebody takes off on us now you've just put deputies lives in danger you just put your own life in danger aside from you know other motorists lives in danger and that's we one not only find that offensive very dangerous and kind of like a lack of respect that guy's probably going to end up getting in trouble and who was oh, riding with you it was me him and her okay you three step right here yes sir okay so. well honesty pays off yet again <laughs> i'm leaving this thing on quiet cars are so loud mine still sounds stuck um that was a great stop once again every time that we get stopped typically it's always very very good the cops that i've run into have been seriously fantastic really nice guys like i've been saying every single time cops are normal people you know the whole spill but treat them with respect just like anybody else you'll get the same respect getting back to you so anyways though we got a warning um obviously his primary concern was just trying to figure out who the guy on the bike was because the guy fled the scene and all that good stuff and they're typically not <laughs> too big of a fan of that because it puts a lot of people in danger obviously that's why i've talked about it before i don't run from cops i just i have stories that i can maybe tell you guys one day of why i don't i've made mistakes in my past i learned from them and i'm an adult now i don't make stupid decisions like that anymore so that's pretty much the story to it but anyways guys we're gonna go to back to the gas station real quick uh we're almost back to where we were gonna meet up and i'm gonna see if we can meet up with everybody else see what they're doing and um hopefully nobody got in trouble or nobody got hurt but we're gonna go fill up again and i'll see you guys in a second so how was y'all's experience getting pulled over? Our experience um, was interesting. You know why? The dude on the bike took off. <laughs> we sat there and they were like, do y'all know the guy on the bike? I was like, hell no. Do y'all know the guy on the bike? I was like, no. Do y'all know the guy on the bike? Not at we'll all. We'll give you one last chance. Do you know the guy on the bike? I was like, no, man. Yeah, the guy on the bike. Like, this is my license. It says I live in Ruston. That's what I said. I, I was like, we're not even bike. from here. Trust me, dude. I'm not yeah, even from here. Oh, my. So he's, he's like making us get out of the car and then somebody just starts going off on the on the walkie talkies on and i'm sitting here trying to turn the volume down bro and it's not going down and i'm like trying to muffle the speaker with my shirt and the cop like sees me and like i finally get it turned all the way down and he looks at me and he goes hey no, the cop was, oh yeah the cop he, was, was he gave cool. me he was real uh, gun friendly i was like hey i'm just letting you know before i get out there's a gun in the door on this side gun in the door on that side he's like cool Okay, well you can grab it if you need to. He's like, no, those are your guns. I want you to have them. I don't want to take them. I was like, oh, that's awesome. I know. I was like, yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. He's like, no, seriously, I love guns. Glad. I'm glad to see that you have guns. I was like, awesome. I love guns too. Yeah, so well, then we started well, talking about guns. guns, and he was like, what kind are they? I was like, that's an MMP. This is an XDS. I was like, okay, I got a question for you. I'm gonna quiz you real quick. You keep one in the chamber. So we sat there and we were having a whole debate about one in the chamber or not. And I was like, dude, I just don't want to have this debate with the cop. I understand your standpoint. I just have a different one. And we laughed and whatever. He turned out to be a really cool dude. Like, really, really cool dude. The cool thing was, though, is that there were car people. They were like, he was like, dude, I'm a car guy, too. I love cars. Honestly, if I had these cars, I'd be doing the same thing, if not worse. So I'm not even going to be mad. I'm not writing y'all for anything. I'm just curious about who the guy was on the bike, because I'm kind of pissed off that he ran. I was like, dude, I wish I could help. Yeah. Running on. Yeah, yeah. Running on. Yeah, that's right. Tell these bitches, please, stay in your lane, move along. I take a trip across the pond just to flex. Puffin' sand, yeah, we got a long flight home do do? Say she got a man, but that ring is gone Wait, what? She my greatest fan, play this song, she sing along she